States Speaker is quite a flamboyant chap. You might have heard of him, Keith Mann. And he's representing Animal telling us the threat that animal experimenters face has gone away now because they've locked up i don't know how many people they've got in prison at the minute 20 of our friends um, there's been a big clamp down lately on on lawful protests um, and these people aren't terrorists they're not violent thugs they're not extremists you know it yourself they were here last year a lot of them and they'll be here when they get out of prison these people are heroes and these people we should respect and admire and not hide from this kind of energy, this kind of amazing people who are still pursuing this struggle. We're never going to go away, no matter how many people they lock up, no matter how much violence they use against us. Although I have to qualify that, actually. I think the police today have been very, very respectful. They kept a very good distance. They haven't got cameras in everybody's faces as they normally have. And, uh, I'm not going to carry on. I'm not going to overdo it, but, you know, they're behaving themselves today. And uh, good luck to you. start to understand what's going on and I do have a constant debates with people about this about whether it's important to bring in other issues there is a big picture we, we've got no idea what's going on on this planet and who is controlling human affairs and what their agenda is particularly if we read the mainstream media and we listen to what these people are telling us there's a very big picture out there that indicates to me quite clearly that everything that's happening on this planet is being deliberately orchestrated to happen as it is it's not happening by accident it's not happening because we've voted for stupid politicians. It's happening deliberately. The politicians are a front for this, and all the time we give these people our vote, we're subscribing to this system. We're subscribing to our own demise. <laughs> is a lying machine and I'll tell you how you can prove this quite clearly to so many people in an hour if they're prepared to just spend that hour looking. Now this is going to freak a few people out but it's very very important and I know a lot of you are starting to get this now and this word is out about what's happening in this world and who's controlling these things. 9-11, okay, if, I'm going to, if I say to you 9-11 was an inside job you're going to go whoa he's got a bit weird. No, we're not. They'll be talking about lizards now, see we're not. Right. Now, I know people are starting to get this, but it does make a lot of people nervous to think that they've been duped. We don't all want to admit that we've been lied to. It's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult sometimes. But it's very important that we do. You don't have to admit you've been lied to. You just have to open your mind for an hour and have a look at some of the evidence that suggests quite clearly that everything, and I mean everything that we were told about 9-11 and all the consequences of it, including hindering our protests, the whole story of 9-11 is a lie. It's a fabrication. Oh. We've got a new idea coming up, a new, a new campaign, if you like. Um, now, I'm not to say that I, I'm going to get involved in politics, because I know what politics is. It's a front, and... These people that we see as having power in the Labour Party and the Conservative Party, they don't have any power. They aren't in control of things. The people that control them have the power. It's no point voting for any of these political parties because it's not going to change anything. Well, what we're going to do, come the next election, which is going to be next year, and following on four years from that until we've finished, until we've achieved what we want, the Animal Protection Party, um, this is, a, this is a, an animal rights party and it's the only one. Don't be duped by any of the rest of them. The Animal Protection Party was speak political, and it's now, mo it's now morphed into the Animal Protection Party. We're not here to gain power, okay? We're not standing to gain the, the kind of power that these people think they've got at the moment. What we're going to do, this 
is for people that vote, not for people that already decided that they're not going to vote. It's just for people that do vote, that have got the right to vote, and they want to use their vote constructively. Okay? The Animal Protection Party, we're going to feed 100 candidates across this country against animal abusing MPs. Now, we don't want power. I'm not going to stand because I want power. I'm going to stand to take the votes of those people who are standing currently, who've got small majorities. It's not very many votes. We have a big community of people who care about the animal kingdom and about what's happening to this planet, who don't want to vote in under the current system, who want something different. And that's what we're going to be. We're going to get ourselves a platform. We're 100 candidates. We have a party political broadcast on the TV. We have our leaflets put through everybody's doorstep in the con constituency in which we stand. And we're not standing for power, I'll stress that again. We're standing to take the power off the morons that are already there, that think they're going to get into Parliament next time round. Oh, I'm not going to go on, we've got thousands of people through Oxford Street, we've got a really good march today, and again, thanks to the police, I'm not going to say that again, I'm going to get myself in. in I'm going to embarrass myself about that. But we've got a very, very powerful march today. We've got some amazing people here. And we're going through a big community of people from all over the world. Probably the busiest streets in the world we're going through. Now, we've got a big message that we've got to portray to these people. Um, so I, I'm not going to spend any more time talking to you. And I don't think there's anybody else on after me. Um, but before I do finish, I want to stress, I don't know if anybody spoke about Shaq yet, the, the, the police and the, 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 the industry, they've been big enough that the movement's been crushed now, all these extremists are locked up, hunting the life sciences can get back on its feet. This is a nonsense, there are more people involved in this campaign now than there ever have been. <laughs> and we aren't being scared off, they know that, we're never going to be scared off. They are terrified of this energy. Right, let's show them what we are, what we're capable of. But as I say, keep your, keep your patience if they do start pushing you around. Keep out of all that, don't get involved with them. One more thing, I mentioned the prisoners at the beginning. I ended up with a lot of years in prison and I had an amazing amount of support from people all over the world. And it did me so much good and I hear that from all the people who are there now. Now, there are a few people going around with the Animal Liberation Front Supporters Group newsletter. We're not ashamed of these people, we're proud of them. And it's so important that they hear from us. You know, just take a photograph today of the march and send them that, that's plenty to make somebody's day in prison. Just drop them a postcard and say hello, thinking about you. We admire there were thousands of people in Hyde Park today walking through London. That's all they need to hear. Get a copy of the newsletter, it's got all their addresses in it. Write to them and show them the support that they deserve. Have a good day, guys. Love you.